Hi everybody, my name is Katherine Wake and I am one of the LT consultants. And what this video is going to show you is one way in which you can try and communicate with your parents and students whose first language is not English. I'm gonna preface this video by saying it's not a perfect solution and we know that, but moving forward right now, uh, this is what we're gonna suggest. And if you have any questions or comments or need further support, your LT consultants and ESL consultants are here to help. Just send us an email. So I had a meeting today with your ESL consultants, Sandra and Jen, just to make sure that we're all on the same page and that this is the recommended way right now that we can communicate um, with those individuals uh, where English is not their first language. So we're gonna be using two tools together today. We call it app smashing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna app smash Google Docs as well as Screencastify. Those are two tools that are available to every staff member at the OCSB and they're very accessible. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how step-by-step -step to go through setting up this kind of communication. And what's great about the fact that this is a video tutorial is that you can stop it and pause it at any point in time. You can leave if my voice gets really annoying after a long time, you can leave and come back. Uh, when you think I'm not gonna be as annoying, um, or you can replay anything if you miss something. So again, uh, use this the way you wanna use it, and we're gonna get started. So as you can see on my screen right now, I have set up a Google Doc. The Google Doc contains the message that I want to send to my parents or students. So this is just a check-in message, because right now that's what our focus is going to be, is checking in on our families, um, don't put any pressure on yourself to deliver the same amount of curriculum and content that you have in the past. Um, your health and well-being is priority number one. So remember, keep that in mind. And if you choose to move forward with this, that's wonderful. But again, don't put too much pressure on yourself. Um, your well-being is our top priority. This is also just a reminder that if you're showing a step-by-step, -step, for example, how to log into your Google account, because you're sharing your screen, you can actually showcase anything on your desktop. It doesn't just have to be the Google Doc that I'm referring to right now. You can show them anything on your screen and walk them through how to access either how to log in through Google or how to access some of the amazing supports available on the student portal. So again, you can show them this Google Doc, but because you're recording your whole desktop, you have the option to walk through lots of other uh, things in order to help explain to those parents how to do it. So when you create your message in this Google Doc, um, you're going to be able to use the translation tool. So here I just have a very basic message. Then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go up to tools and then I'm going to select translate document. Down here is where you can select the language of whichever parent or family you're trying to connect with. Again, as we stated earlier, it's not perfect. We know that Tigrinya and some other languages are not available uh, on Google Docs yet. So hopefully, um, maybe with this online learning um, push, maybe Google will be able to add some more languages soon. But if you do have the language available, um, go ahead, I'm gonna choose Arabic, and we're gonna hit translate. When you hit translate, what it's going to do is it's actually going to pop open a new tab with the translated document. So now that you have the translated version, what you're going to do is actually copy. It's kind of being a little bit of a bugger. Copy it, and you're going to go back to your original, and you're going to paste the message below the English version. And the benefit to that is that the parents and students can actually see the direct translation, which can provide further support uh, for them in understanding the content. So now that I have my Google Doc with my English, as well as my translated version for the families, now what I need to do is actually record the message. So the tool that I'm actually recording this tutorial on is Screencastify. So where you see my little box in the bottom right hand corner and you see my screen available. This is what you're going to create for your parents and students. So Screencastify is an extension 
It's an extension that you should be able to see up at the top on the right hand side of your Google Chrome browser. It almost looks like an orange fish or an orange arrow. This is Screencastify. There are lots of supports out there for you to learn this tool. What it does is it records your screen and saves that video to your Google Drive. So when you click the orange fish, it gives you some options to record. You wanna make sure that you're embedding a webcam at the bottom, as well as sharing your desktop. If you need any support on how to use Screencastify, there's lots of resources online. There's a really easy one hour certification that you can do. It's watching a few videos, doing a 20 question quiz, and then you're certified with Screencastify. So that might be an option that you choose to do over these next couple of months. So what you do is once you're recording your screen, um, in conjunction with your ESL consultants, we feel that the video down below is really important to include. We know that, you know, these aren't our best days. Uh, we might not be looking our, our best, but it's really important for our students to see um, the visual of the teacher explaining what the content is because there are hand actions, there's lip reading, there's lots of visual cues that can support the comprehension of the content um, that's on the screen. Instead of just having the words on the screen, we're trying to add as many different learning styles as possible uh, in order to ensure that this is the most successful way to communicate. So once I'm recording my screencast, the video's in the bottom, I have my content on my screen. So the suggestion is that you actually read the message out loud. So I would say, hello, I just wanted to check in with you and your family to see how you are doing. If you need any help, I am here for you, Miss Wake. So you want to read the message out loud, um, again, using gestures or any other cues that you know have been successful in reaching those parents or students. And then of course you can direct them below to the translation in their language, in their first language. Once you have this ready to go, what you're gonna do then is you're going to actually stop the video. It saves automatically into your Google Drive. And from that point, you can share that video out to your students and your parents. So when we look at where to share it, Right now, um, Learning Technologies is recommending that if you are communicating with parents, that the message be sent through School Messenger or Message Sender in PowerSchool. If you're sending the video to students, we recommend that you send it through the at OCSB student Gmail account. So just to review, if you're communicating that video to parents, you're gonna send it through Message Sender in PowerSchool. If you're sending that video to students, you're gonna send it through their at OCSB student account. So a quick review. One, create your message on a Google Doc. Keep it simple, um, keep it positive and light, uh, not too heavy curriculum wise. Step two, you wanna translate that message into the appropriate language to meet the needs of your learners. Step three, begin to record yourself and your screen using Screencastify. Four, take the link from the Screencastify video in your drive and you're gonna share it with parents via school messenger or students via OCSB student accounts. Again, this little bit emoji just wants to say, you've got this. These are not easy times, but just know that there's lots of support out here if you need it. Um, again, this isn't the perfect solution to reach out, but we hope that it meets some of the needs of your parents, of your students, and of your learning community. Uh, again, if you have any other questions, reach out to us. I'm going to quickly share um, who you can reach out to in the LT department. And of course, you have uh, your two ESL consultants who are fabulous women uh, who are ready to support you in any way that you need. And of course, you obviously have your ESL itinerant uh, resource teachers who are also a great um, place for support.
So we're all in this together. Reach out to LT or your ESL consultants or your itinerant uh, ESL resource teacher uh, should you have any further questions or need some support. Take care. Bye.